Okay, Sony DVD player. It doesn't recognize a disc. It just shows loading all the time. And this thing's old, but I'm gonna take it apart anyways. So first thing I'm gonna do is look for any swollen capacitors, because that's usually a pretty good dead giveaway. The capacitor's gone bad, and in older electronics, that's honestly the number one failure is capacitors. They tend to dry out. The electrolytic inside dries out, and they go bad. This one, maybe? I don't see any that are just stand out, destroyed. Let me look at it for a minute. At about this point, I realize I better try plugging it in and turn it on and see what happens. Oh, pretty sure we found the problem. Something up with the motor. It's not getting enough drive. They, either the motor's bad or the power supply driving the motor is bad. Uh, okay. If it has a bad motor, I'm not sure it's worth fixing, but if it's just something to powering the motor drive, maybe there's something to this. We'll take a look. A few moments later. Man, it won't even try. The first time I opened it up, it would go. If you give it a little flick, now it won't even do that. I'm gonna take this assembly out and we'll see if we can look at the underside of the motor and see if we can spot any smoking guns. I don't know if this is repairable, but we'll find out. So we'll pull that whole carriage assembly out. We gotta get this front of this door off and it looks like there's just two little clips right here. That's gotta come off. That way we can pull the whole assembly out. I'm gonna take these wires undone. There it is. I think this is our failed motor. Oh, uh, do we see any smoking guns? Why it has failed? That's the million dollar question. Let's look at the connections. I bet this motor's just toast. Well, we can verify this motor. It's a five volt motor. Obviously working properly. Can we verify the other one the same way? We can verify if it's a supply problem or a, a motor problem. It's probably a motor problem. That's the mechanical part. Let's, uh, let's find out. All right, we're gonna apply five volts directly to the spindle motor. We're getting nothing, not even any draw on the power supply. I think this motor's just bad. That's pretty well cut and dry. That motor's no good. We'll try reverse polarity just in case. The spindle motor died. I don't know if that's worth fixing. I kind of don't think it is. And I would be willing to bet you're supposed to change this entire carriage as a unit. I doubt they sell that motor separate. And the whole unit's not worth anything anymore anyway. Hmm. Maybe this one just goes in the trash. Does it? Are we to that point? Let's go one more step. Take this carriage out. There's the problem, right? Our motor. So almost certainly the brushes inside the motor are shot because it's getting no continuity, kind of no matter what I do. But it's not gonna hurt anything if we spray some contact cleaner in there and just see what happens. So let's do it. Hmm. 
I mean, what the heck, right? Let's put some power to it just to see what happens. Pretty sure this thing's just toast. I decided to add some external power supply lead so it was a little easier to keep the power connected while I was testing. All right, I've been tinkering and I found the problem. So I've got power connected up and inside, there's, there's a brush here and a brush here, the DC motor. I figured out this particular brush, if we touch the brush lead itself, the motor will spin. Something to do with this brush. I don't know if it's going to be repairable or not. Honestly, we should just replace the motor, but I don't know where to get one. Maybe I'll try bending the lead a little bit. I mean, it doesn't work. Can't hurt it too much. Well, I bent it a little bit and it's already working better, but I'm going to give it just a little more. There we go. I bent both of those brush leads in tighter to the spindle and it's working. So I think we should put it back together, see what happens. There it goes. Okay. Let's power it on. I bet it works. Hey. Look at that. What do you know? Okay, let me put it all back together. Well, there's probably not a whole lot of people still using those old Sony DVD players, but uh, we use it every day or most every day. It's just for kids, but hey, I uh, saved it from going to the landfill, saved me from buying something else. And I think that's what it's all about sometimes. And that and just having fun tinkering and keeping things alive. So if it helped, give me a thumbs up. Thanks, we'll see you next time. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the talking